The spring had been cold. We'd originally planned to head down to the Pyrenees, but the forecast didn't look favourable for the deeper waters down south, and so we hoped the shallower reservoirs had warmed up a little quicker. In the end, we made the 600 mile jaunt down to Central Europe for a shorter four day recce trip on a big public reservoir we'd heard a few whispers about. Despite the relentless northerly winds and freezing nights, we still managed to find a few carp and put a few lovely ones on the bank during the short few days we had. It was a testing trip, we broke the outboard before we even started, had nights down to minus four, endured sunstroke, clay cake kit, split and blistered hands, but we got a whole lot more than we bargained for and came away broken but with grins ear to ear. Quick three days down south, five forty pounders between us. Well then mate, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Got a new motor. <laughs> Lesson number one, fishing out in the middle of nowhere, um, is never travel with only one motor. <laughs> Second thing, is always bring some tools with you. And um, if all that fails, always have a friend you can find. <laughs> Just 10 minutes in, the outboard gave up on us. Without the right tools, it was a lost cause to try and fix it. But thankfully, a phone call to a mate who knew the region well saved us. It was a small mercy, there was a supplier still open and within reach. So I left Marcus with the boat and after a three hour round trip, I returned. 280 euros lighter, but with a new outboard. The game was back on. To be honest, it'd been a really long day and all we wanted was some food and some sleep. We still had a huge amount of work ahead of us. After four hours in the boat looking for spots, it was 3am by the time we'd finally found, baited and marked some and we crashed out for the remainder of the night. This morning, isn't it? Oh, mate, freezing. You got ice all over your rod bag. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, um, weird considering it was like 12 14 degrees. Well, supposedly forecast today, cloud, bit of rain. Really bizarre. It just changed yesterday afternoon, didn't it? Yeah, temperature just dropped. And so, it's just got, it's got all just real bitter. Um, it's really, really misty out there. You can't yeah. see nothing, can you? Nightmare. So Obviously, where we got the bottles out, didn't we, in the dark last night, um, we've actually, we haven't got a fix at all on, <laughs> on exactly where they are. Plan was basically first light, just um, get the rods out, everything was sorted basically, just to uh, yeah, get them out and drop really quick. But yeah, really thick, white over with fog. Um, beautiful morning though. Um, well, you can just see the sun come through now. Yeah. Lovely. 
It won't be long until they it turns burns some mist off and then um No mate, although it's <laughs> it's currently still getting worse. It is actually, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. I keep I keep thinking it's gonna clear and then um yeah it's actually got worse. But I mean we've got the spots GPS in, we can just get out there. Um would have just been nice first morning, especially not really knowing exactly where everything is, just to have been able to do it with some like proper visuals on everything, but mega spot though, eh? Oh man, I'm just yeah. I'm gonna get the words out on it, mate, yeah. and just see what happens. But yeah, they're special spots to me. Yeah, <laughs> we spent about what three, four hours out in the boat. Yeah, probably yesterday. So. Um, and it's basically, basically just a massive wasteland, isn't it? Of two, three, four meter water. Um, it's just nothing, is it? It's absolutely nothing. Flat. Yeah, absolutely nothing. <clears throat> and then two big craters in the middle of it, mm. which um, yeah, unbelievably, because big old sheet of water. We we just happened to uh, to stumble across. So, yeah. Um, and it's right where I see a couple show last yesterday afternoon. So. Yeah, when I was out getting the motor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so fingers crossed, mate. Get those rods bang on and um, see what happens today. Yeah, it's not quite gone to plan so far, has it? But um, we've got some mega spots. Yeah. Get everything sorted, so we've got to see what we, uh, yeah, see what we can do, see what the day brings. I woke up in a cold sweat, but I found you. And I wait through my worries are crippling. It was a beautiful morning. Once the fog had lifted enough for us to be able to see, rods went out sweetly. With big sheets of fizz still peppering the surface around the craters, it was obvious the area had been fed on in the last couple of hours. With solid drops and another light scatter in a bait, the traps were set and the waiting game began. How do you feel the first day's gone? <laughs> You're all confident this morning. <laughs> yeah, um, still am to be honest, but yeah, let's just say it's been a, a bit of a mad old day, isn't it? Lack of Mate, sleep. <laughs> it's just been a weird one, if I'm totally honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, how many different species have we <laughs> um, Pike, a rod, uh, a three tent. Three tent, yeah. yeah. It's a really strange day, isn't mm. it, actually? It's been a bit odd. Yes, um, I think it's been moody as well, as you can tell in the skies. It's, it's been, I don't know, one minute it's really hot, warm, the next minute it's freezing Freezing, cold. yeah, yeah. Um, and we've, like, we've sunburned or, um, <laughs> or sun-stroked ourselves, haven't we, as well? <laughs> oh, mate, it's, it's been savage, but uh, enjoyable. And, you know, we, sit, we haven't seen any more. We only see that one, didn't we, show mm. earlier one? Yeah, just right. one which was surprising. That was fairly early. I thought we were going to see a few more, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see what the season brings, but yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, not else we can do. I feel like we're fishing the best spots we possibly could be in front of us. You Maybe know, we've got a good spread. Water. We've got a couple of slightly deeper spots near where we've seen that one show. Yeah, yeah. We've got the two rods in that amazing rock hard crater out in the middle, yeah. um, and then. The, that slightly shallower plateau where we see the one show yesterday. So I think we've done everything that we that we can. It's, I mean, to be honest, it hasn't really felt like the kind of day when they'd be really having it. Today. No. Um, I said what well, we've seen two shows really today. Yeah. 
like one definite over there. You might have seen one over in towards them ones over there. I think positive that we've had some bites though. I think it's been more windy today than yesterday. Yeah, it has, yeah. You know, there's no and chilly. You don't really notice it here. We're tucked away, but as soon as you get out in the boat, it's cold, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I reckon see what next couple of hours bring and start again tomorrow. We're assessing the morning. Yeah. With the spots all already dialed in, the rods went out sweetly, and the second morning couldn't have played out any more perfectly. Over at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> He's um one angry cart, that's for sure, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> but you could fit an orange in his gob. Beautiful fish. Massive mouth to him. Um yeah, after the day yesterday, catching all those tents, pike and a rud. <laughs> yeah, we finally got one, mate. Finally got one. It was an incredible mirror. And to be honest, just that one bite would have been enough to make the trip for us. Little did we know though what was in store for us over the next few days, and it wasn't long before the second chance came. going on there mate <laughs> what a result <laughs> we've just had man um yeah got the second one of the trip literally like what's only been out there an hour and um off the crater spot wouldn't it yeah off those two mega spots out there in the middle um i mean we, we had there was a lot of activity on that yesterday weren't there it's like with tension and stuff so sh surely something's gonna happen and um yeah luckily it's it has Oh man, I'm just over the moon. But yeah, just, just couple just of quick, uh, couple of quick pancakes, <laughs> <laughs> and then get a shot, isn't it? Yeah, some grand pancakes for breakfast, quick coffee, and then um, yeah, we'll get her out, get her out to show ya. Happy days, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 
incredible, mate. Beautiful creature. You can take some snails like that. Yeah. Just quick. We're in there <laughs> before I go. <laughs> we redid the rods, hopeful of another chance, but the tench just wouldn't relent, with me landing another five or six that day. So many I lost count. Each time the long boat drops were repeated and each time the rig carefully replaced on the little rock hard crater spot out in the middle. But no more carp came, and as the day wore on, the activity dried up. By now, we had everything down to a T. We had a few different areas steadily ticking bites over. And whilst the crater spot started strong and looked like it was gonna be the one, it dried up as quickly as it had begun. Whether or not it was the brisk northerly wind that had corralled them off the back of it for some shelter or something else, we weren't sure. But one by one, the carp fell to rigs dropped out in the silty wasteland, as well as a new spot I'd found way out long and left. An old section of sunken road that although severe and savagely rocky in places also had a few beautifully smooth areas on which to place a rig. With bigger hooks, longer hairs and digging out the biggest hook baits we had we were finally managing to keep the tench at bay and the bites from the carp just continued to roll in. Marcus added another mirror to his tally that morning in the shape of a beautiful plump 33 pounder and I got off the mark with five in short succession. Two smaller commons first, followed by three lovely mirrors, all within the space of a few mad hours angling. Oh, look at him. Mega chuff of this one. Again, one from um, out in the silty... <laughs> the waste land end. of nothingness, basically. Yeah. Yeah, the um, spots that uh, we would never have put a rig in a million years, really, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, tightly. But um, anyway, another one's ripped off in. Awesome, it's a lovely car. Yeah, though. mate. Some nice, beautiful scales in him. Yeah, he's lovely. A little funny, like, interesting patterning on his gill plate as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that earlier. Yeah, he's lovely. Cool car, man. Yeah, chuffed with him. Proper chunky one. Awesome. <laughs> yes, <laughs> what a trip. Lovely times in the south, eh? <laughs> oh, wicked. Well done, mate. Right. Super back.
He's ace, isn't he? <laughs> cool character. Oh, mad boxy shape, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Yeah, old, like, slightly deformed um, rest of her tail as well. I, like, I just love these barbie walls they've got in them, mm. for it, like, big long ones. Yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah, mate, mega chuff. <laughs> Reservoir. Anyways. Reservoir dogs, man. Yeah. Reservoir dogs. <laughs> kind of like, it's like the old Shantico mirror strain, isn't it? <laughs> Love your excited face behind the camp. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Trying. But I'm struggling. No, you hold him for two more minutes. Oh, the wind blew over. <laughs> Smell the water, can't she? We both suffered that afternoon. Probably, we think, with mild sunstroke and with splitting headaches and nausea, we just had to sleep away the day and get as much water and paracetamol down as possible. The combination of icy northerly winds and the clear skies had lulled us into a false sense of security and our sunburnt hands and heads told a very different tale to how cold it had actually felt. The trip started to draw to a close before we'd even really had chance to settle into the rhythms of it. It had been a whirlwind of clay caked kit, blistered hands, wet slings and sacks, relentless tench and angry hard fighting mirrors. We were tired and broken, but with the biggest smiles. The final morning dawned with a thick white frost laid over us and it was the coldest night of the trip. But still the bites came, and the reservoir had a few last minute surprises for us. Later that morning we had three more beautiful mirrors to photograph, before we pointed the van north and started the home run. Fueled, as always, by far too many coffees and excited plans for the next adventure. Couldn't come soon enough. Too big. Massive fins. <laughs> Even its tail's like. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a few inches longer than it should be for the rest of it. <laughs> and scale pattern as well. Really, really unique. <laughs> with that one. <laughs> Buzzing mate. <laughs> yeah well chuffed. Lovely one. Cool character. Yeah. Over the size of his barbie. I know it's just mad mate. Really cool one. Last morning buzz eh? Yeah man. And uh 
still got two big ones to shoot. <laughs> right, girl. Keep back. Have a look at your big sisters. And then uh, get back to the motherland, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> to end, eh? <laughs> Not the sound of you rattling them off. Absolutely awesome. Okay, mate. What a lovely trip. Just a uh, quick three days down south. Five forty pounders between us. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> Yeah, what, well, like 46 10 and 40 pound 10 for me, and uh, what, 43, 48, 12, and then I'm weighed one, <laughs> still waiting for you. <laughs> Cut about the mega characters as well. Yeah, it's been awesome, hasn't it? What dude? a mega trip, mate. Mad weather, lovely carp. <laughs>